And in the business news, the decision of the foreign portfolio investors FPIs to exit the country in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, as well as the huge decline in the price of crude oil in the international market, have put severe pressure on both external reserves and the exchange rate. As at last weekend, oil price lost for the third consecutive week on the back of declining global demand due to the economic lockdown globally. And agreements by major oil producers to reduce global output have failed to lift prices amid low storage concerns, which hindered positive response in the global oil market. Following this, Brent crude price declined 11.6% week on week uh, to $24 while Nigeria's external reserves further declined 0.1% to $33.6 uh, billion. And we now have I.K. Mbagu, who is the former bank executive director. Good morning, Mr. Mbagu. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for joining us this morning. No problem. My pleasure. Now, we are facing a highly disruptive period, you would agree, all over the world. Uh, how have banking uh, processes also been disrupted? Well, the banking processes are essentially intermediation. So when you have a pandemic and uncertainty, then clearly it's difficult for banks to continue to do this smoothly. So you know, they're relying on digital banking right now, the technology platforms, etc. Right. We read also that the you know the, the naira is under pressure with dollar supply in uh, with dollar supply in restricted supply. Uh, yes. Please explain how one affects the other. Um, well, the the dollar supply is mainly affected by the crude oil prices, which have virtually collapsed uh, as that today. You have West Texas crude at about, I think, 10. Brent crude is 18. And then, of course, our Bonnie Light somewhere in the same range. And, you know, the cost of producing the oil is higher than that in Nigeria. So for us in Nigeria, particularly, we have a very desperate situation. So in when you have a shortage of supply, what people resort to, it's uh, to start managing the resources. And then you have to then manage the naira, which chases the dollar. So that's you know that's essentially what's happening. The dollar is in short supply, so you have to also manage the naira. Even the naira is also beginning to be in short supply mm -hmm. because they they have to manage it. All right. Uh, in response to the decline in dollar supply as well as rising demand, uh, some banks have reduced. Uh, the monthly dollar spending limits on debits card. Um, yes. So, in that situation, uh, this bank on the other banks on their part uh, reduced mm. monthly the monthly uh, limits to say a thousand from three thousand dollars. How are these practices meant to redeem the situation? Um, what the banks are trying to do is simply rational. Um, they, there's a shortage in the dollar that they have, because remember that um, for them to access those dollars, they usually go to the intervention. So for them to manage that supply, they have to reduce what is going out. So that's basically what they're what they're doing. Um, a thousand dollars a month in the most banks, I think that's what most of the banks are, are probably doing, allowing you to spend about a thousand mm -hmm. a month. Just before I let you go, Mr. Mbagu, what more yeah. can be done to create a buffer against what some are already predicting to be a global recession and even depression? Um, well, in economics, the, the major thing that can be done is to stimulate demand. So if you notice what the government has tried to do is to create stimulus packages. Um, in fact, this is what is being done all over the world. They put in the U.S. and in the U.K., etc., and then protecting small businesses in particular who are the hardest hit in this uh, recession. So uh -huh. the, um, I think the president announced that there will be further stimulus packages added when he spoke yesterday evening. Uh, the key question will be how much and how effective can it be for an economy that is already under pressure. 
agree that those questions are indeed valid ones. Thank you so very much for your time, sir, and do keep safe. Okay, thank you very much, and you keep safe too. And hopefully we will all come out of this safely. Yes, we will.